What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our Big Ten channel. Going to give you a very early projected record for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Keep in mind, this is not an official prediction. This is simply a projection based off of the formula that we use. Before we get into 2024, let's look back at some of the projections from 2023. Here were some of the projections from last year. Of course, Ohio State going 11-1. Our projection had them at 10-2. Remember, the projection's usually a bit conservative. My prediction was 11-1. and one. Uh, The season went exactly like I expected. I had them losing to Michigan. Uh, Athlon had them at 11-1 and one as well. And then the over-under for this team was at 10.5. So right there at 10-2, and 11-1, that was the uh, projection for them last season. And they lived up to that. So let's get to 2024. Again, here's the schedule. This is the scale that we use. If it's less than 20 or over 80, those are games that we're going to count as wins or losses and uh, games where I think the spread will be 17, 18 plus points. The games in the orange and in the blue, those are games where I think the spreads will be double digits. And then 30 to 39, 61 to 70 games where I think the spread will be six to nine points, kind of in that range. And then the 40 to 60 games where I think the spread will be less than a touchdown, a touchdown games that could really go either way. And it's not just about the spreads. Um, I do have a formula that I use. I put all the teams into different tiers based off of where they finished last year and then just kind of looking ahead a little bit to what we expect like it's not all about last year for example michigan dropped from a tier one to a tier two just because they lose so much ohio state still is a tier one team along with uh, oregon so let's get into it here and we will start with the easy wins all right so we got akron western michigan marshall nebraska purdue and indiana these are all games that ohio state should win should have really no problems with you know you wonder about nebraska can they be a lot better this year? Probably not. Uh, not significantly anyways. And the game is at Ohio State. So if that game was on the road, and home and away definitely plays into the formula. If that game was on the road, that one would be in the blue. But playing at home, it's just a game you would expect Ohio State to win. So all six of those games should be wins. And I'm not saying they're all going to be easy wins. But Buckeyes should be favored by 17, 18 points, even against Nebraska, Purdue, and Indiana. And so though those are your six fairly easy wins. Then we move on to the games where I think they'll be favored by double digits. Michigan State on the road, Iowa, and at Northwestern. So we're talking 13 to 14 point favorites in these games. Uh, Iowa is always interesting, but it's at home. Again, that's a game that if it was on the road would be in the purple because it's at home. It's in the blue. Michigan State, I mean, maybe they're a lot better. And that's why these are not predictions because we – just don't I haven't fully evaluated all the teams we haven't made it through spring and Michigan State might be looking better than than what we think but right now we don't think that teams can be great again this does favor way heavily towards last year and how the teams were last year and Northwestern can they continue what they were doing last year we'll see but Ohio State still should be favored by I would say 13 14 points in that game so you've got Really, the majority of the schedule where Ohio State's going to be a double-digit favorite. I think all of these games, they will be favored by at least 10 points, maybe even 14 or more. And so then it really comes down to these three games, Oregon, Penn State, and Michigan. Good news is the Michigan game is at home this year. That means that one winds up in the purple because it's a home game. And again, Michigan is a tier below Ohio State. I know people may not agree with that, but just a quick evaluation of the rosters. Ohio State looks like they got better. Michigan, worse, maybe significantly worse, and lost their head coach and all that. Plus, the game is at Ohio State. So if this game was at Michigan, it would be in that 50-50 range. But playing at home for Ohio State, uh, yeah, they should be favored by about a touchdown in this game. And that leaves Oregon and Penn State. These are going to be tough games. These are going to be the games that really determine the season for Ohio State. I say that, but... If they lose both of them, they're still going to the college football playoff. They might not go to the Big Ten Championship, but they would still go to the playoff. So, uh, yeah, it, it feels you feel very confident that Ohio State's going to make the playoff this year with a 12-team playoff. So uh, those will be tough games, of course. Um, I think those teams are capable of beating Ohio State, plus the games are on the road. I you know Right now, I'd probably favor Oregon by a field goal, and I'd probably still favor Ohio State by about a field goal over Penn State. But both of them are very close and I think could go either way. And so, again, those are your 50-50 games. So, to do the formula here, we count the green games as 100%. We count the blue games as 75%. Michigan is counted as 65%. Oregon and Penn State count as 50%. You average all that out and you get a projection of 10-2. and two. So, 10-2 and two for Ohio State. 
that's actually a really high projection because of with the new conferences and with the new schedules, it's it's a lot tougher to get to 10 and 2 or 11 and 1 or especially 12 and 0. We might not see a 12 and 0 team this year. In fact, I I would not be surprised at all if we don't see a 12 and 0 team. It's just going to be a different year. Um, and I say that I'm talking about the Big Ten and the SEC. We might see you know an ACC or a Big 12 team sneak out 12 and 0, but in the Big Ten and in the SEC, it's going to be tough because you're going to have a lot of tough games, and it's just going to be a different. The landscape's just different. So 10 and 2 is actually a really high projection. In fact, I don't think we will see a projection higher than 10 and 2. I will probably have some predictions higher than 10 and 2. I have one team in mind that I think is going to go 11 and 1 probably, but um, projection wise, 10 and 2, that's about as good as it gets. So Ohio State's looking really, really good with a schedule that does have a couple of really tough games, but again, favored by double digits in nine of the 12 games. Uh, that's pretty good. So you, do you think this projection is pretty fair? Let me know what you would project the Buckeyes at right now down in the comments below.